Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we have a brand new preview video for Virtual Basements The Wrestling Code with this new preview revealing the latest star to join the game's roster. So let's take a look at the new preview and then I'll share with you some additional information as well as some exclusive footage. his ass off to make it, to fulfill his dreams, to make it to the top. And when he made it to the top, he beat everybody they put in front of him. What happened? What happened 16 years later? Let me tell you what happened. That young man was exiled. His legacy erased. And why? Because he spoke the truth. Because he stood up for what was right. 16 years in the darkness. But not anymore! Now, it's my time. We live in a world now that doesn't ignore prejudice, that doesn't turn a blind eye to the truth. 16 years, and it's my time to take back my legacy. The time has come. Nobody's safe from the return of the sun. So there you go, after 16 years of exile, Mohamed Hassan has finally made his return to the ring, albeit the virtual ring, as today marks 16 years to the day since his last wrestling appearance when we seen The Undertaker sent him on his last ride when he sent him crashing through the stage at the 2005 Great American Bash. That's what this new promo draws from, with Hassan alluding to what happened back in 2005 when his dreams were effectively ended as WWE chose to write his character off of TV and release him from the company due to that controversial character that he portrayed and the negative coverage that the storyline received. So that's the background to the promo to give you a little bit of insight into what it was about, with the video itself featuring a few subtle nods to the events that happened, such as Hassan hijacking the feed, the desert representing the exile that he found himself in, and the ring ropes appearing in the colours of the Great American Bash. As for the footage, I think they've managed to capture Hassan's likeness really well, the model looks good and it's a great representation of him with the visual effects and the fire at ringside really helping to complement that as we see the lightning bounce off the character and highlight this sweat system. Jumping to the end of the promo, we also get a look at what appears to be Scott Steiner as Hassan can be seen locking in the camel clutch, with this move being the first of the game's moves to be shown off publicly, albeit ever so briefly in these flashes. To expand on this and show you how this move looks in its entirety, Virtual Basement sent along some exclusive footage of the move so that you can get a better preview of how the animation looks in general as this is the animation that you'll see in game. Looking at the footage, the animation for the move looks to be really good which is a great indication of what we can expect to see going forward especially once the mocap is cleaned up and then implemented into the game itself. As for the promo mocap, on the whole I think it looks pretty good, there are a few things that I think need to be cleaned up which is normal for most mocap animations but again for a company that have only just started using these systems I think they've done a great job. I also think it'll be interesting to see how these animations compare to later animations once they gain more experience and get a proper studio set up as this promo was one of the first promos that the company did therefore I would expect that we'll see the quality on these improve as the time goes on. 
Speaking of the promo itself, Virtual Baseman sent along these new behind the scenes photos, with these shots showing off his son in the mocap suit and the temporary setup that was in use, as this promo was set up and recorded at a local hotel. These photos also confirm that it was Hassan who was teased back in June when Virtual Basement revealed they were heading out to New York to film a special announcement as these photos match up with the one that they shared on social media. Along with the photos, we also got a short video of Hassan recording the mocap, although this clip appears to be from an alternate take as the dialogue heard in the video is slightly different to the one used in the final promo. It's been 16 years in exile. 16 years. And a legacy boss. 16 years. As for anything else, the fire around the ring may hint at the inclusion of the Inferno match, which I think would be a great addition, especially given the realistic look of the fire and all the particles that you can see burning in the air, as visually this makes for a great look. I also want to point out that of all the characters' tattoos and the logos that are shown, these are actually created by a well-known member of the wrestling game community, as these were all created by creator Dre41, who longtime WWE fans will know for his creations dating all the way back to the original SmackDown vs Raw games. If you want to learn more about Dre's involvement and the work that he's doing, he recently spoke about his experience working on the game on his YouTube channel, therefore I'll leave a link to that in the video description so you can check it out, as I think it's really cool that developers are reaching out to members of the community and then getting them involved in the game as the experience that long-time players can bring to the game is a massive addition. So let me know what you think of this new promo in the comments, and if you want to learn more about the game, then I'll leave links to Virtual Basement's official channels in the description, and while you're there, if you're not already, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, as I'll have lots more coverage of the wrestling code in the coming weeks and months. And so then though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later. his ass off to make it, to fulfill his dreams, to make it to the top. And when he made it to the top, he beat everybody they put in front of him. What happened? What happened 16 years later? Let me tell you what happened. That young man was exiled. His legacy erased. And why? Because he spoke the truth. Because he stood up for what was right. 16 years in the darkness. But not anymore. Now, it's my time. We live in a world now that doesn't ignore prejudice, that doesn't turn a blind eye to the truth. 16 years, and it's my time to take back my legacy. The time has come. Nobody's safe from the return of Assange.